400 billion dollars. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Oh my god! Twitch, Airbnb, and Reddit. These are all companies we all know and use every day, but what you probably didn't know is the secret sauce behind their initial success is this startup accelerator called Y Combinator. Y Combinator has helped create startups collectively worth over $400 billion. Only about 3% of the 15,000 applicants that apply to Y Combinator each year even get the Y Combinator interview, and just about 1% get accepted. And when you do, you get $150,000 in funding and a kick-ass community to make your dream startup a reality. And a couple months ago, I got to pitch my startup to Y Combinator. Here's what happened and what I learned. But first, for those who are new here, hey guys, I'm Michael Yee, and after I started my first profitable software at 14, I became deeply interested in building tech startups. You can hear about that story in my last video. And when I found out about Y Combinator around two years ago, man, I became obsessed. I started binging their videos, reading their essays at 2 a.m. Started implementing what I learned while building web apps and even start a podcast where I interview other successful YC founders like John Kogan, who is the founder of Swellent, and Ryan Juni, who's a close mentor of mine, who's also a partner at Y Combinator. But man, I still remember the first day when I discovered Y Combinator, I instantly thought to myself, this is exactly where I want to be. I'm going to get this. But uh, turns out it wasn't as straightforward as you think. You'll see. So the first step to applying is having a startup idea that solves a big problem. Ideally, one that you face yourself and are passionate about. Our startup idea was called Inner Circle. Or at least, that was my old startup. Because it's actually been a couple months since I worked on Inner Circle, and since then we've actually pivoted to something completely different and much better. In the blockchain x creator space. And no, we're not selling crypto coins. You'll see. Anyways, back to the video. But anyways, back then we were working on Inner Circle, which was an all-in-one platform for creators to build paid communities. The problem we wanted to solve is creators want to monetize their audience, and fans want to engage with their favorite creators and also other like-minded fans. Right now, creators have to cobble up different solutions like Patreon, Shopify for payments, and Discord Slack for community. First of all, the integration there is pretty bad. Like if you subscribe to someone's Patreon, join their Discord, leave their Patreon, you're usually still in their Discord. Then I validated this idea by pitching to other creator friends I've had, brought in a co-founder, which is my best friend, Ohm, whose background is super impressive. And then we applied. And now is just a waiting. Uh, wait a minute, rewind a second. Yeah, although all that seemed like it took like 10 seconds to apply to YC, uh, the real process took much longer. I mean, true product validation requires getting pre-orders from customers, mapping out the tech frameworks like Steve Blank's problem pyramid or doing the mom test. But I didn't want to bore you with all that. If you want though, comment down below. But anyways, let's get back to the video. Okay, three, two, one. This is probably one of the happiest moments in my life. When I got it, I thought to myself, this is the chance. This is the chance to finally prove myself. But uh, at the time, little did I know that this mentality of one prove myself might result in a pretty big learning experience in the future. So I was so pumped. And first thing I did was send out a bunch of messages to previous YC founders like John, Ryan, and the only person who got into YC at 17 to basically set up mock interviews. And after four mock interviews and perfecting pitch, we were ready. Omar and I were feeling comfortable. Man, this is the day. I remember waking up and doing a Wim Hof breathing practice and that just gets you like so energized and like so calm. Yo, the YC interview is in about one hour. We just did a practice interview with some other guys and basically they were assuming that we would get in and like that's something we never had before and I'm so grateful for all this. Oh my God, I'm so excited for it. All right, YC interview time, peace. Yo, we're about to get a minute any minute now. Oh my God. It's literally right here. We're so ready, man. We're so ready. We're so prepared for this. So We're gonna freaking crush it. We're gonna freaking crush it, man. Ooh, okay, let's do it. I wish I could show you the actual interview, but unfortunately, I don't think I can because of privacy reasons. So instead, I'll act it out. Hey. Hey, so what are you guys building? Yeah, so we're currently building Inner Circle, and it's the easy- Oh, looks like time's up. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, obviously, it didn't- like go exactly like that. But pretty much all the advice we got from previous YC founders was that that 10 minutes flies by just like that. And you never get to say everything you want, which was kind of true. And that was it. Finally, once again, time for the waiting game. Now this was honestly 
pretty nerve wracking. YC does this thing where they basically call you randomly that night if you get in and send you an email if you don't. So like I was just constantly checking my phone, like going on and off, just constantly waiting for the call. And finally we got it. Sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger right there, but the next video will be crazy. Literally all the learning has happened right after this point. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss part two. See you in the next video.